Episode 7? More like episode 07. She dead. She's actually dead. Why are you guys making me watch this show? I thought episode 1 was supposed to be this like goofy, fun, supernatural power high school kids kind of show. Episode 2. Oh, the beauty of human experimentations on Now's brother. Our little sister's fucking dead. Pizza says gone. Well, it came back at the end. And there was a very heartwarming scene of now feeding you the omurice with the same pizza sauce and the decoration which reminds him of the happiness that he was not able to recognize when she was alive that's what life is right you can only appreciate the things when it's gone that's why you gotta sometimes just gotta stop and reflect on your life to appreciate the things that you have in life and i agree we should go fucking find that little girl that's try to fucking kill you know our, our little sister and kill her too no that's kind of fucked up but a little the, the pettiness in me does want to just push her down and fucking stare now uh where are we going with this enemy now you has been kind of like saved by now maybe we can go back are we just gonna handle more like slice of like not not villain of the day but supernatural power of the day stuff i'm not really sure what more we can do to have like a nice conclusion also what the fuck is charlotte what the fuck is charlotte bro let's begin today's reaction Back at school. Jaime. He should put an empty jar of pizza sauce right beside Aomi. I don't know. I, it would be funny and fucked up at the same time. Having like a fucking pizza sauce. The family secret pizza sauce right beside you know, Aomi. That's portrait of her dead sister. Uh, chance encounter. With that little girl that fucked our sister over? Good, I want to fucking throw out the window. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Becky! <laughs> Skill issue! Skill issue! Now clutched hard last episode. Maybe we should not get better. Hear me out, because if she's going to stick around, if the contract is, I'm going to stick with you until you recover. Maybe we shouldn't recover. <laughs> maybe we should forever just, you know, <laughs> just not be good so she'll stay with us. I don't know, man. Charm! Charm! Oh, this is number one. <laughs> they had the fucking whole Oshinoko fucking, you know, the, the otaku squad ready for this fucking dance, bro. Holy shit, dude. Look at the synchro. <laughs> what is it? Concert tickets? Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello, hello. <laughs> no one beats me. Bro was fucking ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's different from everyone else, right? He's like the main Yusarin sim, bro. No one can compete with Megane. <laughs> we kicked the shitload of cans at her after we told us. Fucking get more ramen, bro. Go to 7 Eleven, fuck you, bitch, and we left. <laughs> We gonna see her again? I hope we don't. This is like a running uh, gag now. Every time. Oh, that's fast. Let's score Nava's head as usual. We're back, boys. This is Oh, see? He's a, he's a good person now. He's polite, appreciative of others around him. It only took a fucking little sister to die for this to happen, but hey, we got some development. Why not? Hi. No, Ryoku. Where's our collaborator? <laughs> this is the best. This, this, I, don't, I don't know what he was doing here, but like the, 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 
What, what the f- Oh my god, throw it down! Actual just PV. This is a fucking ad, bro. Mid. Oh, wait, 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 let her cook, let her cook. What, what is this random fucking music PV in the middle of the episode? Like, alright. <gasps> Chill, bro, it's a TV! <laughs> No, I don't, this is basically an anime opening, just, okay. Woo! Encore! Encore! Oh wait, it's not over yet. They're really padding the fucking watch time right now. Good job. Uh, good song. I just oi, oi. felt like it was just out of place. He loves it. Uh, Half bad. Oh! She also hates idols, huh? I don't know. Both of them have some similarities, for sure. <laughs> was that cringe? I guess, like, idols... Like, even the Yusarin part, right? It's, like, cringe that she would refer to herself like Yusarin. I guess, like, idols... Not everyone just worships them. It's kind of cringe. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I think this is just to kind of establish that like he's back and everything is just kind of back to normal and we're just having fun. What? Where's my daily? No, Ryoku. Wait, wait, what the fuck? He's the favorite. He's my. I, 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 that's like I want to watch this episode for. What's up now? Huh? Is that the band? Yeah, they're a boomer band. Sorry! Not pre-rock, not current rock, it's post-rock. So, post-rock is a type of rock music. It differs from traditional rock in its rhythm, chords, tone, and chord progression. So you're telling me it's, it's a type of rock, but it sounds different. I... The mechanics, the chords, tone, these are mechanics of the music. Now and you should. It has to be you. Like, if it's not you, it makes no sense, right? It's gotta be. They're that good? Oh, I think she's biased. Of course it's gonna be you. Deito! That's pretty fucking fast and very specific. Okay. Now and you after they come back? A blind person. Ooh. Oh, she's looking real nice. <laughs> Sit. Why avoid me? Sit. English, English, okay, okay. She's the end? Nanda. Imano. From the back. Moskaste. She's a singer? Maybe she loves Modan Yaki. Jesus! Jesus! Okay, she's kinda of funny. She fucking fucking funny. I don't I have no, I have no idea what a modaniaki is, but that Jesus delivery was fucking out of nowhere. Jesus! Okay. Is she a weeb? What does she think there? No. Is this Steve's voice actor? Is it? I could believe it. In like a higher pitch? I, I, I don't know. Vocalist. Whoa, yeah. He does remind me of sound flow. That makes it sound. Wait. Isn't this like the Chicken Man's voice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Chicken Man also is, from Viral Hit, is also the same voice actor as actually Rudy, it's IRL. No, it's the same guy. And that guy from that Gintama guy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. Yeah, I thought, so she is blind, right? 
Should be on the house. Umai! Is this the flavor? Pikachu. She knows what she wants. I thought she didn't even know. I thought she didn't even know what it was. Well, that was a fun little date. She could tell. She doesn't obviously have a power because she's beyond puberty. What's up with this girl? Why does she... Why does she care so much? Just because he helped her out? She did. Let's go find the girl that caused the fucking uh, rupture to happen, right? D whatever it was. Fucking, yeah, she, she, she should go help us, you know, fight that little girl that tried to fucking kill her little sister. Close enough. I mean, no! No. I think it'd be also funny if the pizza sauce jar was also on the shrine. あんたのバンドを好きな兄弟がいてさ。いや、なさそうだな。お。その通りだ。ちょっと待っててくれ。別に電話かけるなんて初めてだな。First time calling now. どうですかどうかしましたかおう、ゆう。どうかしましたかおう、ゆう。どうかしましたかおう、ゆう。どうかしましたかおう、ゆう。どうかしましたかおう、ゆう。どうかしましたかおう、ゆう。どうかしました
すまないなこんな遠い場所まで連れてきてほうかつてはそうじゃなかったんだろう Exactly until like episode 8 literally そうかもなんだな Now だとしたら僕はまどろっこしいな,なんすかしてお前の兄さんは古くからのジエンドのファンだったろはい起きるって何が例えば正気のことだそんなうまい話 Like, I don't think this is the type of anime where the brother will just like go from tearing up his fucking pillow and going on that manic episode and then just like see her and then listen to her song and just be okay. I just, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that kind of anime. And if anything, it's gonna reveal us the cruel nature of the world and nothing will fucking change. Uh, Possibility? Because you went that far. To help me. Ooh. Come on, raise her up! Not bad, not bad answer. Yeah. <laughs> what? That he's gonna try to kill us? <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? How many blankets and pillows do you think he goes through? Because he's just always doing this. I'm just gonna assume this is just all he fucking does. So, like, the hospital staff just keeps giving him more pillows with feathers in it? Like. <laughs> no, it's only when the sedatives wear off. He's creating music, right? <laughs> kind of dangerous to approach him like that. English. It'd be funny if he just ignores her and just doesn't listen. Was it a dream? always your being. Don't know. Are we? Are we It's fucking working. He stopped. Wait, he's actually speaking coherent words? No. You created this miracle. Is it just for now? I, I don't know. Is he all back? I, I can't really tell. Well, that's like a temporary thing. So yeah, That person you care about. Oh, it's her manager that got pissed off where she was the entire time. Now. So, girl? Hospital? That's great! Say thank you. Say thank you. Say, uh... What? What? Okay. Aww. Baby steps, man. And then tomorrow we go to the concert, man. But knowing this fucking show, are we being set up? I, are, we, are we being set up? <laughs> what the fuck is going to happen at the concert? Oh, no. Oh, no way. The only reason that we're going up is so that we can fucking come clashing down. Oh, no. This is a really good episode. I think... Thematically, it's just perfect because we just came off with such a depressing and sad episode. And we did kind of just like, you know, kind of, kind of quote unquote like fix him, right? But then it was nice to get a little bit sense of the stupid shit that happens at the school. You know, Megana doing Megana things, all the fucking students simping over you studying, you studying being cringe, and now just kind of shitting on everybody. It was nice to kind of remind us that, you know, there, there are just like casual downtimes here. And then, out of fucking nowhere, the Z end vocalist shows up. What the fuck? Her design is sick. Her backstory, I'm a bit confused about. Because she says that she missed her time. She was already too old when she realized what she wanted to do. But she somehow popped off in Japan and then the success came and then a bunch of bad shit came with it. And eventually she traded her eyes to God. I'm just gonna assume that it's metaphorical. I'm not sure exactly how she lost her sight, but a very interesting character, which I hope doesn't die or does something bad happens. The big brother getting fixed here with her singing. What a beautiful episode, man. 
I hope it's permanent. It's uh, it'd be really sad if it was like a temporary thing and then fucking now shows up and then Big Bro's back to crazy mode. Probably not. That'd be way too cruel, right? She's very keen on the senses because obviously she can't see, but everything else, sense, perception, like intuition, whatever you call it, it's got it nailed down. And the next episode, we are gonna go to a concert. It's gonna be a dato and nothing bad will happen, right guys? Right? Surely. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.